The FOMC meeting, which starts tomorrow, May 2nd, will be one of the more pivotal FOMC meetings of the year. Now, I don't know if you guys saw this, but Jerome Powell, Jerome Powell was actually pranked by uh, a Russian pretending to be the president of Ukraine, uh, Volodymyr Zelensky. Now, this took place in January, which not a lot of, or I, don't, I don't think I've seen any reporter actually say that it took place in January, which is a few months ago. Now, I want to point out something that Jerome Powell said on this call. He basically said a recession outcome is just as likely as a low growth scenario, sub 1%. So we're talking about below 1% GDP growth. Now keep in mind this is January. A lot has happened between then and now, especially with the banking crisis. And so in my mind, if Jerome Powell thought that a recession was just as likely as low growth, well, I think that a recession, or in his eyes, a recession will be more likely now as you introduce banking turmoil into the economy. Just this morning, We've seen First Republic, which is the largest or the second largest, sorry, bank failure in U.S. history, get acquired by the godfather of banking, Jamie Dimon and J.P. Morgan. By the way, which means now that J.P. Morgan, they handle more than 10 percent of all U.S. deposits. You take that for what it is. In the midst of all this, other banks, large and small, continue to tighten credit, which means the cost of capital is rising. And in a way that is performing uh, restrictive monetary policy for the Fed. And so that's why some believe that they would actually pause tomorrow or should pause tomorrow. I do think that the banking crisis could warrant a Fed pause, but to stay consistent with messaging, of course, we're gonna get another 25 basis points hike tomorrow, at which point they will pause, which would allow economic data to catch up with monetary policy action. And of course, during that time, you'll see the full effect or a more true effect uh, from previous rate hikes. I still think a huge variable is the labor market. Uh, the consumer is still pretty strong. People are still spending pretty comfortably. And we still have like 10 million job openings. So we do need to see some more softening uh, in the labor market as well, which I think is what they're going to be looking at pretty closely um, after this rate hike tomorrow. Regarding the labor market, he did say that the only way the Federal Reserve knows how to bring inflation down is to attack wages in the labor market as well. And so obviously that tells me that they're going to be closely monitoring this, as I just said, um, after this rate hike tomorrow. So that does tell me they're going to pause um, and then just honestly just see if what they've been doing has been working or not uh, in terms of uh, labor market softness. I am a little worried though, guys. In 2007, it was January 2007, Janet Yellen actually said uh, that within the next year or two from that speech that she gave in January of 2007, she said that she thought it was a high probability of a soft landing in 2008. And so the same exact thing that they've been saying, that they said uh, in the great financial crisis, it's kind of playing out the same way. Of course, we have different phenomena, different factors that are going into play, but uh, they're saying the same thing. But I always appreciate you guys watching. Short and sweet as always, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.